Bellamy loops it into Brent Berry from the LA Clippers, former slam dunk champ. He's going for 10, Chris. No, he tickled the twine on the wrong side. And he's saying that the wind affected the ball. That was definitely the wind. Come on, Steve. Well, we are outdoors. Cheryl Swoops now brings it down. Shoot it! Is that class and elegance bringing the ball up? Chris Spencer with the blue bandana shovels it back to Swoops. Oh, that's all. For 10? Guard that underneath! Cheryl saying, that's the way I planned it all along. That ties it at 10. Oh, oh that looked like the final shot for North Carolina State that year. Yes. Here's Brent Barry. Pass Spencer. Nice pass to Bellamy. Back to Barry. Oh, yeah. Pretty. And the foul. Fantastic. That was the worst call I've ever seen. Will you please go back to driving Magic's limousine? Brent Barry. Brent Barry with 125 episodes of Seinfeld on tape, and he is master of his domain right now. Give me Superman right now. Brent talking to the announcer. Give me Superman. Oh, he wants Superman. Look, he's going for Dean Kane right now. Oh, they're clearing out. It's a one-on-one -on -one between Superman and the 96 slam dunk. Oh, he gives it up. Oh, he's, he's a giving, sharing person. Maybe he saw a little kryptonite. I didn't know you could see Chris Spencer without seeing Quincy Jones, but I guess it's possible. Oh, look at that pass. Kevin Garnett between the legs to David Arquette. Here's Superman for three. Yes! The newly engaged Dean Kane. I know. I like Dean Kane, don't get me wrong, but it's only one. Okay, you know what? He can be sitting mad. I'll just do the man of Time for the fabled 25 and 50 point baskets. Lord with two minutes left of the quarter. 25. Way to go, 25. A top 50, baby. There's nothing more exciting than that. That 25 point basket sits some 17 feet from the floor, while that 50 point basket sits 25 feet and six inches to the floor. Here we go, here's Brian McKnight into the front court. 13-13. He gets it down to Gary Payton. Payton with a little twirl oh! move. Oh. That would have been Payton his Buck. third. Great pass by Buster Ryan. Back to Payton. Here's Barry for 25. Not quite. He almost got two as the ball came down. Oh, oh look at that, bounce right off of Brian McKnight's head in the pass. The team <laughs> Using your head, Brian. Kane to swoops for 25. Out of bounds. Gary, Gary, 25. Still 13 all. Approaching one minute left of the opening period from UCLA. Here's McKnight, stutter step. Oh, Garnett. Gets it into Gary Payton. Payton for 25. Oh, it's an air ball. Kept alive. McKnight. Oh, he looked like he was going for 25. No winner. Oh, here comes Kane on the break. Dean Kane, the former Princeton football player. Oh. Throws it away. Barry. Oh. Recaptured by Garnett. Fed it away. The okay. What action? Oh, and Barry is fired now. Spencer, a look away. Tremendous action end to end. Stolen by Peyton. And a whistle. You gotta love that. It's, uh, you know, it gets a little rugged at the beginning of the game, but nothing wrong with that. That's rock and jock basketball. Here's Bill Bellamy. For 25. Got it! Bill Bellamy for 2-5. 13 violators. Bellamy a combined five for 28. Look at that extension. Look at him getting up in the air. It frees it right here. Look at that ball dropping right into the 25 point basket. Bellamy, unbelievable thrill for him, and he's put his team up big time. Bill Bellamy, his fifth rock and jock, his first 25 pointer. It was well worth the wait. He is totally stoked. The first quarter of play is now one for the ages. It's 38-13 in favor of the Violators. Let's go to Carmen Electra, who is with Violator hero Bill Bellamy, who nailed the Adidas first quarter power play. Hey, I'm Carmen Electra, and I'm standing here with Bill Bellamy, the yeah. star of the first quarter. Tell us about that 25-point shot. Well, I mean, I didn't know it was going to happen. I tried to just go for it. It's the first time I played for four years. That's my first time hitting it, but I got to be the leader on the team. So we're going into the second quarter, Carmen. Strong! Yes! Strong! Rock and Jock returns. Suddenly, Susan's Judd Nelson hangs with Chris and me. We'll also have the Slim Jim Pro Celebrity three-point jam and live performances by Coolio and Buster Rhymes. So don't tune us out. Just a moment, we're going to be chatting with Suddenly Susan.
news it's Judd Nelson, but the second quarter is all set. But first, let's recap the Slim Jim Pro Celebrity Three-Point Jam. Our hoop stars team with celebrity snipers for the Slim Jim Pro Celebrity Three-Point Jam to see which tandem would rule from beyond the arc. Kind of nervous about that. Coming out firing was a dynamic duo of Baywatch lifesaver Michael Bergen and WNBA Aussie Michelle Tim. While the tank girl proved to be a net ripper, Michael had a beach of a time hitting from the dune. A lot of people picked the team of Bill Bellamy and Gary Payton as favorites. No question. Yeah, baby. But after a promising start, Bill chilled and Gary never heated up. Determined to show who was the best shooting model in the world, Marcus Schenkenberg showed he can score off the runway. But teammate Cheryl Swoop struggled to find her range from way downtown as they capped out with 12 points. About the win there. Kevin Garnett looked like he had the winning touch from outside, but his partner Method Man shot one Wu-Tang plank too many, and they ended up tied for first. I'm about to light it up. Three-point powerhouse Flea looked to recapture his crown by draining four balls from his first rack, while partner Brent Berry built on his slam dunk rep, filling him up from the outside, too. When the smoke had cleared, Flea and Berry had 18 points and what looked like an insurmountable lead. Here we go, baby. The cardiac combo of Stefan Marbury and Brian McKnight generated extreme excitement at an incredible 24 points, stealing this year's Slim Jim Pro Celebrity Three-Point Jam from Flea and Barry. That's all it was. Chase was focused, followed through being in the... Well, Chris, it's official. Gary Payton has switched jerseys. He has signed with the Bricklayers. The only player to ever change teams in the middle of a game. He's my hero. And I'm sure Shaquille is extremely upset about the fact that Gary Payton is no longer with the Violators. Here, go right here, and I'll give it back to you. There you go, come on. Go in. Come on, you gotta step in. This is a two-quarter deal with an option for a third. Oh, my gosh! Brent Barry! It includes a three-picture deal with Paramount Pictures, a development deal with there. Nickelodeon for Gary's kids, a book deal with Simon & Schuster, smart point guard's foolish choices, a reoccurring role for his wife on Melrose Place, and best of all, he gets three lifetime rentals at Blockbuster Video. I guess the Violators got Viacom. Hey, Gary, how does it feel to be a bricklayer? Are you satisfied with the deal? Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. Judd, what's your reaction to all of this? Uh, we had a contract with him. We expected him to honor it. Bergen! Hey, Mike! Mike! Be careful, Mike! What a wild game this has become. We are definitely looking at a possible 200-point game. And we're talking about one team getting Get 200. Chance, That's absolutely right. And Jerry O'Connell's on the court, and gosh, have we called his name a lot tonight. That's a 10-pointer by Stephon Marbury. Now here's Michael Bergen. J.D. from Baywatch and the University of Connecticut. Showing some serious game for a Husky. He's quick. you got to give him that. Now oh, here's Method Man. Oh, oh, look at that smoke. Method Man on that one. woo -hoo. Method Man, yeah. Wu-Tang Fever. That was no Wu-Tang Clang. That went in. Judd being from the hotbed of basketball as Haverford College was, you must be pretty thrilled to see that play. I actually witnessed the Overbrook High School team beat Haverford's varsity basketball team. It was pretty embarrassing seeing 17-year-old kids dunk in the face of our varsity. As long as you won against Bryn Mawr, though, the alumni were happy. Michael Bergen again with the fast hand. That would have been the shot of the century by Michael Bergen. Look at Method Man. Up the rim. Oh, great hustle there. And one. Abdur Rahim. It's a different Violator team without Garnett blocking up the middle. There he is resting. Garnett kind of taking it easy, you can understand why. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many Gary Paytons they get, you can't replace the big man. Oh! 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 Donovan and Barry! That's right. A little mean. Things getting a little on the vicious That's side. Right. You got problems! You got problems! I don't think Donovan's been rejected like that since high school. Watch me make dividends. If he weren't on my team, I'd have to say that was a bad play. I thought everyone liked Redhead. Marbury for three. And the ball knocked out of bounds by a very active Stephon Marbury. Losing. Matt! It's 48 to 23. Oh, look at Reeves pass it accepted by Payton. Here's Marbury, yeah. backs it up beyond the three-point arc. No. Payton. Now a bricklayer. Payton totally doing it all for this team right now. Blinds it. Gary Payton, the soldier of fortune of this game. Yes, indeed. Here's David Arquette with a flank. <laughs> what is that, Judge? Oh, that was ugly. That was ugly. Oh, my goodness. I would have gone to Charlie Weaver to block on that one. It's enough to make you scream. His eyes are as big as the moon right now. We can say here tonight we can actually see the moon. <laughs> no roof. Oh, Donovan looking for some revenge against Back. Barry here. All right, here is Brent Barry from such a famous basketball family. Look at the D. 
Oh, it sets up Marbury. What a play. How do you like that? Unbelievable. And Donovan celebrates around the 10-point stripe. Elisa Donovan set it all up. Brent Berry undressed here in Westwood. And right now, let's take a look at the game com replay, Chris. Well, there are a lot of ways you can help your team, and it doesn't always involve making the steal. Sometimes it's just occupying a player so that somebody else can steal. And that's what Donovan did right there. Oh, that was sensational. Watch this play from Marbury. So easy going in for the slam. He just looked like butter out there. Here's Elisa Donovan looking very sharp. Was that a pass or a shot? There are so many ways she can hurt you. That wasn't one of them. And Walton cannot believe it. Look at Walt Bellamy. Oh, what a hot first half he's having. That's too much passing. Too much passing. That's 27 points for Bellamy, which is more points than he had in, uh, in how to be a player, I think. And it's amazing that's on two shots. 48 to 25 violators. 5.05 left in the second quarter. Bellamy already clearing space away from the MVP trophy. Hey, Bill, Bill, Bill. Yes, Gary made a wrong move. Dude, he's, right, he's on the wrong Gary team. Go chase, he's That's like, all right. Leave him there. Well, Rock and Jock rebounds for the scintillating second quarter action. Plus, Flea bounces by the booth, so don't go away. Go ahead, Coach. Go ahead, Coach. Uh-huh. 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 seventh annual Rock and Jock B-Ball Jam brought to you in part by Slim Jim. This is such a thrill, Chris, to have Flea between us, a legend in Rock and Jock annals, and the guy who was responsible for victory in Rock and Jock to take us back to that memorable moment when you hit the game-winning shot, Flea. I was thinking, I told Chris before, I said, Chris, pass me the ball. I know you're a little bit rusty and stuff. You just had a baby. A skinny ball. I got in the corner. Freeze it for you. Okay. Now, you notice how I was bending my knees. It's all in the knees. It's all, it's all in the knee, and brought the energy up through my spine, up to my chest. Okay, you can go, go, but I fade it back, and boom, zip, bam, no problem. I can do it all day, lay up, lay up. Unbelievable, that one. That was for 10 points, and that one rock and jock two for you. But, you know, for some reason, my coach here, Bill Walton, the guy's giving me no playing time. Yeah, you're not very happy about the come way on, you're being on, used right now. What do you think Walton's doing wrong? I, I'm basically, I'm disgusted. I think it's absurd. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ludicrous. Now, Peyton has joined your team recently. Do you feel like he's oh, being too excited on, that, that Peyton's oh. on the team and not giving you the time you deserve? All right, Dean. Well, that very well could be. Gary Peyton, as we all know, was a basketball super-duper duper star. But, uh, no, I, you know, it's a love thing. You know, I'm hoping to take over for Chick Hearn when he retires. I think the job will be open before you know it. Here he is, the flea shot. Oh, no. The Violators with a 23-point lead. There he is, Gary Payton, the newly acquired bricklayer. You only needed one shot to make that huge basket, Flea, and Payton needed a few opportunities. Right back at him. Uh, yeah, I take it that's like, you know, Jimmy Page, he didn't write Stairway to Heaven until he was 27. I could play it when I was 22. I mean, that's really saying <laughs> Shoot a 10, shoot a 10. Here's a steal by Dean Kane down to Chris Spencer. Oh, yeah. Now, see that little bastard, number 33? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, yes. Short the daughter has his poster on her wall. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to kill that guy. You know, you got to speak <laughs> your mind more, Flea. Don't hold it in. He's almost 16, you know, so he's moving up in the